Welcome to Princess Toy Channel. Hi friends, today I'm gonna to be creating three superhero slimes for you. As you can tell from the costume I'm wearing, one of them is gonna be a Wonder Woman slime, the other one it will be the Batman slime, and the third will be the Flash slime. I think they're gonna come out really cool. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button right now so that you don't miss out on all the awesome videos I have coming for you very soon. So let's get right into the slime making. So first I'll be starting off with the Wonder Woman slime and for that one I'll be using the sparkling red glitter glue. We'll be pouring about half a bottle of the glue into this small bowl that I have here. And if you're wondering why I'm only using half the bottle and I'm making a smaller amount of slime. The reason is that all of the slimes I'm making today will be two layered slimes, which is gonna be really cool, but I do want smaller batches of each one because then I'm gonna end up with so much slime and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of that slime. Now I'm gonna add in half a cup of water or about half a cup. I've already prepared my borax and water activator for my slime here, so the borax is very well dissolved like it should be. So I'm gonna slowly add little spoonfuls of the borax water to my slime to make sure I get the right consistency. To this one, I'm gonna add a lot of blue glitter. Okay, so I'm gonna add this in now. Ooh, look at all that glitter. This one looks like it's gonna be super cool. I'm going to be adding some really pretty, um, some really pretty golden stars to my glitter as well to make it more of a Wonder Woman look. So now looks like a really good time to do that. Start adding in some. Don't be afraid to add those glittery stars. Looks so pretty. This is what it looks like. Look at all the glitter. Wow. Now do you see my Wonder Woman coming together? Wonder Woman slime. My slime is still pretty sticky, but it's really cool. Look at this. I put my slime back in the bowl really quick because I decided I do want to add a little bit of this watermelon scent to it. Mmm, that watermelon scent smells so yummy. So the texture of my slime right now is really fun, really awesome, I love it, but the color is not really what I was going for. I was going for a red for Wonder Woman and my scent kind of added a pink, little, a pink color to it. So I'm going to grab a red food coloring and add a little dab of red in there so we could kind of brighten this up because I need it red like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman red. So let me just stretch it around, poke it for you a little bit. They both came out really cool. Next, we're gonna take a little from each and we're gonna layer them in a slime container. Now let's add the red layer to the top of this one. Drop it in slowly. Here's the Wonder Woman slime. Here's my leftover slime side by side so you can see what it looks like together and I think it looks really cool a lot like the Wonder Woman costume with both colors combined and those golden stars inside of that red and let's just mix it together and see what happens. This is a really fun slime and an awesome combo. Let's do one more clear glue slime for Batman. I'm gonna be using the same recipe. For Batman, I'll add a little bit of this black paint here, but not too much. 
I want it to be more of a gray, not too black. And I'm gonna add a little blue too to get that gray effect. I'm gonna add this yellow glitter. That'd be really cool. Now I'm gonna add some chunky black glitter inside of this Batman slime and I think it's gonna add a really cool effect. This slime is looking really weird because the color is really different, but very Batman-like. And it smells a lot like paint, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of watermelon scent to it. Hopefully it doesn't drastically change the color of my slime. And make it too purple looking. Here is that first layer of Batman slime and it is just a really weird and funky slime but I think it's truly Batman slime. It's black and gray colored and it has those big black chunks of glitter in it and it still has a super fun texture, really stretchy and really fun to play with. Here's our two Batman slimes. Now let's layer them on top in the little jar. I'm just gonna get a small amount of this black. Put it in. And you know what this black slime kind of reminds me of? Have you seen the Spider-Man movie and there's that black stuff that kind of gets on him and turns him evil? This looks a lot like that stuff. <laughs> If you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna try that amount and start adding some of this really pretty gold and yellow glittery slime to the top layer. Let's drop it in. And here is the Batman slime. Really, really cool. It looks awesome layered with that black glitter slime. So I let this Batman slime sit for a little bit and it really expanded and it's so weird because it kind of looks like Batman inside of the slime now. That is so cool. The last slimes I'll be making today are gonna be for the flash slime and for this I'll be using a white glue and I'm most excited about this one because this one's gonna be a fluffy flome slime and I think it's gonna be so cool. I really love fluffy slimes and this is gonna be my first time using these little foam beads in my slime and I'm so excited because I think it's gonna come out so, so fun. Okay, so now that these are separated, I'm gonna start adding some food coloring drops. I'm gonna add quite a bit because I want my colors to be as vibrant as possible. I like really bright colors. Really, really perfect texture for a slime.
have my jar for the flash slime here and I'm gonna add some of my phloem to the bottom. Super cool phloem, I love it. This is one of my favorites I've made by far. And let's throw in some of that red cool phloem. Just drop it right in there. There's our phloem inspired by The Flash. And finally here are my three DIY superhero slimes. If you're wondering where I got these little jars and the lids, well I bought the jars and they all had different colored lids, but they weren't really superhero colored lids. They were all kind of like pink and green and purple, so I did a little DIY. I added some glitter to the top of them and painted the sides of them. I actually let these two sit for a few hours and they kind of blended a little, but I'm sure they're still going to be super cool when we pour them out. Now I'm just going to get this little sticker book that I bought for a dollar and I'm going to add some awesome superhero stickers to my slime jars. So I finally have all of my finished slimes and this is the part that I've really been waiting for, so excited for, is to pour them out of the jars and see what they look like. So I'm going to open up my Wonder Woman first. Look at it, the blue has rise to the top and it looks really cool. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> this is so awesome. It looks super cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. I gotta get a close up of that. Look at that. That looks so cool. You can see all the stars and the blue and the red has barely blended. Let's go on to Batman next. This one looks like it'll be interesting. It's already oozing out. Wow, it looks so cool when it's blended together. That yellow and that black combined. Even my big chunks of black glitter look pretty cool in there. Okay, and now for the final one, the flash. I'll see you next time and have a very blessed day. Bye. Don't forget to be awesome today. Thanks for watching, princesses. Don't forget to subscribe.